Hi ladies, so hopefully I've focused okay <laughs> and I'm not so blurry or anything. So I'm back to make an update and I am 30 weeks, which is crazy. And um, yeah, I, I'm blown away. I can't believe it that I'm 30 weeks already and this pregnancy just seems to be flying by. Anywho. So, there's really not anything to update on, to be honest. And symptom-wise, pretty much all the same. And it's funny, I was kind of reminiscing about my son's pregnancy at this stage. And I started losing, like, chunks of my mucus plug around 28 weeks. And it regenerates itself most of the time, so I wasn't worried when I was pregnant. Are you having peanut butter? Yeah. You are? They have peanut butter. Yep, you're having peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers. You are having peanut butter crackers. They're having apples. You are having apples too. Dagny having his afternoon snack. Anywho, and so I was kind of wondering if it was going to happen with this pregnancy or not, and sure enough, nothing. <laughs> And it's funny, at this stage in the game, too, um, I was having so much cervical mucus discharge that I had to start wearing a panty liner. And so far, nothing. And you know what's funny? I probably jinxed myself, and I'll probably get it now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I've started to get this pinched nerve, pinched something, I don't know what it is, in my spine in the same spot I had it in with Dagny's pregnancy and the only thing that makes it go away is pretty much just popping out a baby <laughs> so I'm not even gonna bother going to the chiropractor because I did last time and I was going like two or three times a week and it, it stayed the same it didn't do anything so just gotta live with it and just go with the ride of that's another s symptom of pregnancy pardon Sit on the ground. Well, mommy doesn't want to sit on the ground. Her bum will get sore. Then they can't. Then I can't see the camera. Anywho, um, sleeping was starting to get horrible again, and I just got over a cold. Today's been like a really, really good day, but the last like six days were like horrendous, and I was just like, oh, I don't want to have to be like this. Yes, rabbits eat carrots. Do. The baby bird. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Talks and talks and talks. He's a little chatterbox. Ew. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really think of symptoms. Baby's moving still. Um, I have this instinct that the baby is head down. I keep feeling hiccups in my pel pelvic region area. So that leads me to think that the baby is head down. And yeah, I can feel body parts. I don't know what body parts they are. They stick out. And last night was a lot of movement. So that was nice. I like the... the the pickup and movement sometimes because this baby's quite mellow compared to Dagny when he was in in the womb. Um, I'm on the the um, I don't know what you call it but I've gotten back into the I'm really curious and want to know the sex of the baby <laughs> and I'm not gonna go find out but I go through like stages of wanting to know and then I'm content with waiting and so on and so forth and I really I'm not gonna find out because I have about say 10 to 12 weeks left until we do find out and it's really not that much longer so um, I'm just gonna be patient and try to go with the flow and so on and so forth so um, I've been really really sore lately but that has to do with walking a lot on the weekend. It was my birthday on Sunday, so we went to the fair and I was on my feet for like five hours and squatting and getting up and... 
Yes, you did see pigs, didn't you? And so, and the day before that, we went to a farm too, like a pumpkin patch. So. The pigs were wiggling their tails. They were wiggling their tails. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so other than that, yeah, Dag. He loses my train of thought because I'm trying to pay attention to him. But he's talking. I don't like ignoring him. So, yeah. Other than that, pregnancy-wise, nothing. I have a midwife appointment on Thursday. Um, I'm... We're in the process of moving things around, organizing yeah. things, cleaning things, and so on and so forth. I also wanted to show you this, which I haven't shown in previous videos, I don't think. This is the only girly thing I've bought for this baby. Um, everything else is gender neutral or more so on the boyish side. So, it's just a headband. It's a gold headband. And, um... It's a fox, and it's made out of felt and some other fabrics and so on and so forth. But it is so cute, and I love foxes. So, yeah, this is the only girly thing I have. So, if it's not a girl, I mean, it still could wear it. Dagan can play with it. They can play with it as dress-up item. Or um, a friend of mine said I can make a bow tie out of the the head, and just and just make it into a bow tie or something. But we'll see. See if we get to use it or not. So, um, I think I'll, I'll insert a belly pic, belly or tummy video here, snapshot of what I look like. Yeah. And this is the tummy shot for week 30. And I will do the bare tummy shot. That's pretty much it for 30 weeks. So yeah, 30 weeks. So that is what I look like for 30 weeks. I'm pretty sure there's been a big, huge growth spurt. Braxton Hicks contractions aren't that bad um, compared to my first pregnancy, which is crazy. I thought they would be worse by now, but they haven't. So cross our fingers, that's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess I will talk to you guys next week and I'll have like updates for my midwife appointment and so on and so forth. So yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Okay.